Vadim Nemkov is a name that has become synonymous with electrifying performances and awe-inspiring victories. With a blend of raw talent and an unyielding hunger for success, Nemkov has carved his path to greatness, leaving a trail of defeated opponents in his wake. Vadim Nemkov is not just any fighter, he's a four-time Combat Samba World Champion, a title that proves he's a force to be reckoned with. Currently reigning as the Bellator Light Heavyweight Champion, Nemkov has conquered the ring with his unstoppable skills and tenacious spirit. But here's the really cool part, Vadim isn't alone in his journey to greatness. He's actually the younger brother of Viktor Nemkov, who himself is a remarkable athlete. It's like a dynamic duo of fighting prowess. Together, they embarked on a sports adventure that started in a small village in Kazakhstan and eventually led them to the bustling world of professional MMA. Now, let's take a look at what attributes have contributed to Vadim Nemkov's immense success and the adoration he enjoys from fans worldwide. The first fight we have on this list is, as you can see in this Bellator fight, Vadim Nemkov showed his incredible skills and strategy. He defended against takedowns and landed powerful head kicks. His opponent, Liam McGeary, tried to trip him, but Nemkov smartly escaped and put pressure on McGeary's locks, forcing him to break the hold. McGeary, known for his ability to fight from his back, couldn't handle the relentless kicks to his leg. Eventually, the fight was stopped as McGeary couldn't take any more punishment. Nemkov's tactic was simple yet effective. He kept targeting McGeary's same leg with outside leg kicks until his opponent couldn't stand anymore. It was an impressive display of skill and toughness from the 25-year-old fighter. But still, it was not even 1% of what we saw in the main event between... In the red gloves, we had Rafael Carvalho, the former middleweight champion. And in the blue gloves, it was the incredible Vadim Nemkov, with a record of 10 wins and 2 losses. As soon as the fight began, it becomes clear that Carvalho was in a tough spot when he found himself on his back with Nemkov on top of him. It all started with a sneaky inside leg kick from Nemkov, setting up his high kick attempts. But then came the turning point. Nemkov learned from his past fights and adjusted his strategy. Instead of going all out with wild attacks, he became calmer and more calculated. He picked his shots carefully, landing effective strikes that put Carvalho out of position. His left hand became a lethal weapon, constantly finding its mark. Nemkov's ground game was equally impressive. With heavy hip pressure, he controlled Carvalho, raining down a barrage of punches and elbows. It was a masterclass in ground and pound, with Nemkov showcasing his dominance over a former Bellator champion. He was not taking any chances of getting caught in a submission, always mindful of his positioning. The fight IQ of Nemkov is truly something to admire. Recognizing that Carvalho had hurt him before on his feet, he decided to bring the fight to his realm of expertise. He took Carvalho down, mounted him, and delivered relentless ground and pound. It was a display of intelligence and strategy rather than simply trading punches. As the fight progressed, Nemkov's control became undeniable. He hunted for submissions, showcasing his versatility, but it was his relentless pressure that truly won everyone's hearts. Carvalho tried to resist, but the energy draining attacks from Nemkov left him struggling to survive. Finally, the moment arrived. Nemkov locked in an arm submission, cranking the pressure with every ounce of strength. Carvalho's resistance dwindled, and he had no choice but to tap out. It was a dominating performance from Nemkov, proving his prowess as a well-rounded fighter. This fight captures the essence of Vadim Nemkov's greatness. His ability to adapt, his intelligent approach, and his unwavering determination have won the hearts of fans worldwide. From the striking to the ground game, he showcases a level of skill that is truly awe-inspiring. With that, let's move on to the next one.
In the midst of the intense fight, there were clear rules regarding legal strikes. Elbows to the head were strictly prohibited, as they posed a significant risk of injury. The tournament format aimed to prioritize fighters' safety, avoiding cuts and potential complications that could hinder their ability to continue competing. Right from the start, Vegeta wasted no time and immediately engaged his opponent. His objective was clear, to secure a takedown and utilize his jiu-jitsu skills against Nemkov. However, an unexpected moment occurred when Metcalf's foot got caught in the ring, causing him to briefly lose his footing. But he quickly regained his composure, fighting his way out of the clinch. The Brazilian fighter was determined to take the fight to the ground, intending to turn it into a jiu-jitsu showcase. With a well-executed underhook, he successfully brought Nemkov down to the canvas. The question remained, was this where he wanted to be? The answer depended on the fighter's strengths and preferences. In this case, the Brazilian was adept at top control and ground and pound techniques, as evidenced by his dominant position as the half guard. Amidst the grappling exchange, a moment of brilliance unfolded. The Brazilian unleashed an overhand right that landed with thunderous force. Each punch delivered from within the guard showcased his power and precision. However, it was crucial to exercise caution, as leaving one's arm extended against a formidable opponent like Nemkov could be dangerous. Nemkov's reserve status meant he remained fresh and healthy, ready to step in if any participant encountered an injury. This outcome surely delighted his coach, Fedor, who would be watching from home with great satisfaction. The victory aligned perfectly with their game plan, showcasing a textbook example of grounded pound from the full guard position. In this fight, from the beginning, there was a sense of confidence emanating from the fighter. He had expressed feeling great and looking sharp during his training camp. However, as the saying goes, sometimes what happens in the fight doesn't always align with the expectations set in training. It can be a challenge to translate that positive momentum when facing a young and energetic opponent, especially one who is only 27 years old and reaching the peak of their physical abilities. The fighter found himself in a precarious situation, trying to weather the storm unleashed by his opponent. Ryan Bader, in his attempt to hold on, faced a relentless assault. The severity of the situation became apparent as Bader struggled to regain his footing. The crowd watched in awe as he fought desperately to survive, understanding the weight of the punches he was absorbing. Despite the adversity, Nemkov seized the moment, capitalizing on the earlier combinations in the fight. With precision and timing, he unleashed a stunning head kick that found its mark. The effectiveness of the strike was attributed to Bader's tendencies to retreat with his hands extended and his upper body leaning back, neglecting to move his feet along with him. The kick connected squarely to the back of Bader's head, and although it may have seemed like an illegal blow, it was fair according to the rules. Bader's positioning and movement contributed to the shot landing in that location. From that point onward, Bader was in survival mode, displaying tremendous heart and resilience. He did his utmost to endure the onslaught, a testament to his toughness. The devastating kick had disoriented Bader, making it difficult for him to anticipate and defend against subsequent strikes. In his disoriented state, he turned his head away from his opponent, rendering him unable to see the incoming shots. Fighting with impaired vision, Bader struggled to employ effective defensive strategies. Ultimately, the sequence of events unfolded with both skill and unpredictability. The fighter's execution of the head kick showcased his technique and awareness, seizing the opportunity when it presented itself. Meanwhile, Bader's valiant effort to weather the storm in the face of adversity highlighted the immense challenges and mental fortitude required in the world of professional fighting. In the realm of light heavyweights, Vadim Nemkov has silently risen to claim the throne as the best in the world. Despite lacking flashiness and not being fluent in English, Nemkov's accomplishments speak volumes. His nine-fight run in Bellator since his debut in 2017 stands as one of the most impressive stretches in the division across all promotions. At 30 years old, Nemkov is at the pinnacle of his skills, having defeated former Bellator champions such as Liam McGeary, Phil Davis twice, Rafael Carvalho, and Ryan Bader, while his first encounter with Corey Anderson ended in a no contest due to an accidental clash of heads. Nemkov proved his mettle in their rematch, retaining his title and securing the coveted $1 million prize money by triumphing in the Bellator Light Heavyweight World Grand Prix. Adding a name as recognizable and dangerous as Romero to his already impressive resume would be yet another statement move for this well-rounded Russian fighter. Though he may lack frills, Nemkov's consistency and solid performance solidify his position as a force to be reckoned with.